Honey, can we break for lunch? I'm tired. Shut up, bitch. You got donuts on your head. Just eat those. For the hundredth time, they're not donuts. They're earmuffs. Well, I wish they were donuts. Because then there'd at least be a good reason to keep you around. This is getting ridiculous. Why don't we just contact foster care and ask if they had seen him? The worst they can do is say no. Why don't you get it? Men don't ask for help, lady. As the man of the house, I need to establish absolute dominance over the dominion that is my household. But Marshmallow, we have been looking for our son for eleven years, and in that time we only knocked on four houses because you're so damn lazy. And two of those times nobody answered the door. Well, damn bitch, it ain't like I don't get other shit to do. At least I'm trying. But you're not. I'll tell you what, sweet sugar pie. Regardless of whoever answers this door, I say we pull a Jeffrey Epstein on their ass and grab the first child we see. I'm worried. What if Sonic grew up to be, you know, different? You're going to have to be a little more specific than that slut. I had four Dr. Peppers this morning. Well, what if he has different views? Like, what if he believes Epstein really did kill himself? We already went through this sugar bun, the CCDVs, that were pointing on him at the time of his death. Was erased due to technical errors. Nobody actually believes he killed himself. Can one of you kids go get that while I finish up the dishes? He there little Sonny, there wouldn't happen to be a brat named Sonic living here. What there? He's got blue fur, and he has a big butt. He looked like this as a fucking baby, if that will help. Um, can I ask who you are exactly? Nope. Why won't you answer my question? You're not hiding something from me, are you, son? You know, I can smell a liar. And you have that stench all over you. I think you have the wrong house. I'm going inside now. You're not getting off that easy. It's time for tougher interrogations. Or what I like to call... <coughs> fucking your tight little ass. Get back over here! Manic, what did I say about yelling in the... What the hell is going on in here? Mom, why is there a grown man chasing our brother around the living room without any pants again? If my memory serves me correctly, I'm afraid those two are Sonic's parents. Don't have a fucking clue why they're trying to rape Manic though. What, but you're our mom. Dear look, that brown kid. I fucking knew it. What did I tell you, slut? Oh, I'm so happy. We are finally going to be a family again. Hell yeah, motherfucker, we're going to be whole, like a butthole, up in this piece of ass. I'm so happy I might just poop. Thank God I pulled down my pants. So I pooped on the floor instead. Fucking hell, you two let go of my kid right this instant, before I have you arrested. As if you can, stupid. What? Sonic the Hedgehog doesn't belong to you anymore, or did you forget? God. You still have those. That's right. Those are the adoption papers that you left in his stupid baby basket. But, but these aren't. Not fair. I was being hunted down by assassins. I didn't have a choice. Surely now that it's safe. Exactly. But you gave him away. Imagine how that must make him feel. Fate led him to our doorstep. And now we've returned for him. Just like how he was left on our doorstep that fateful night. We have come to his and bring him home where he rightfully belongs. You guys have a house. Is it big? Bigger than this one. Hell yeah. With three bathrooms so you can poop out of your fat butt. Damn, that sounds awesome. Is it close by? Oh goodness no dear. We live in Canada. Canada? You think you can just walk into my home? And take my son. Our son. Your son. And move away to Canada. Yup. Well I did all I could do. Kids go say bye to your bro.
What are you saying, Mama? Go over there and snatch him. Yet, yeah, don't you own us, woman? I mean, technically. The day the evil Dr. Robotnik took over our kingdom, I was told by the ancients here that I had to separate you kids for some reason. Obviously I couldn't leave you homeless, you had to go somewhere. Sonic was left at the door of those two folk right there. Honey, there's a kid outside. Ah, uh, is he lost? How old is he? It's a dumb baby. Should I just toss it in the dumpster? Good gracious, no bring him inside where it's warm. You're right, we can probably sell it on the side of the road. And buy some apple and cinnamon oatmeal. Now that I think about it, the only one I own right now is Manic. Cause he was stolen before the lady answered the door. You didn't even wait for them to answer the door before leaving me out in the cold. Damn bitch, I think I should kick your ass. Go on and try it. See what happens when you fuck with me. Now now, if we fight about this, it's going to make it harder on Sonic when we leave for Canada. Why don't we all settle down and discuss this over Dr. Pepper and pancakes? Trust me, you'll never find maple syrup this good here in the States. It's as though a Canadian man broke into your house and pooped in a bottle of Angel Sparkling Tears. Dad, is Canada cool? Oh, you're going to love it. We've got hockey and we got maple syrup. What else? We've got hockey and we got maple syrup. By the way, you stink. When was the last time you took a bubble bath? Our brother doesn't take baths. He's afraid of weather. Sonic, is this true? You mean you've been sitting on my lap for 20 minutes with your unclean rear? If I move you, will I find poop stains on the ball sack bulge in my skinny jeans? Probably. Here's the deal. You go clean your ass right now. And I'll heat you up some chili dogs. Deal. <laughs> Wait a minute. Sonic actually does tough. You just have to bribe him. Why sure he does? All kids are the same around this age. No wonder our bro is so fat. You got him hooked on chili dogs since he was a baby. So old sport, what do you do in Canada? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> We're in the maple syrup business. We do that thing where we tie buckets to trees and wait for it to pee. Then we bottle it up and sell it so people can pour it on their succulent pancakes. That's actually why we came looking for him. Harvest season is coming up and it's always good to have extra hands to work the land. I won't allow it. You are not taking my son. My son. Your son. Just to work him to death. That boy cries in the morning cause he's too fat to roll over and turn off the alarm clock. You're going to kill him? Can't you just buy some child slaves or something? That was the original plan, but now we don't have to. This will save us seven dollars, but don't you fret. When we take him to Canada, he can eat all the maple syrup he wants. And he will be let out of the basement for two hours a day, as long as he behaves. Dad, I'm ready. Your bags are all packed. Good, go wait out front with your adoptive mother. Sonic, you're really going with them? What about the Sonic Underground? The Sonic Underground is dead my own bro. Maybe if you played better, I would have taken you with me. Oh well. At the very least, you and me can still be a band, Sonia. Uh, no that's okay. Don't make that face baby bro. You can have my laptop. Just don't delete my Bardonic fanfics on it. Or Bart LB might come to the house and murder you. Yeah, and I can eat RB cubes without you stealing them from me. <laughs> well, that's that. If you want to say your goodbyes, now's the time, boy. I'm still not sure about this. Do I really have to go? If you don't want that to lean a bitch to go to jail for kidnapping then yet. Whoa, 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 who the fuck are you supposed to be? Look, if you're taking my beach, I gotta come too. We kind of like a package deal. 
You mean, like a hot dog package that comes with two extra buns? Cool. You know, I would have expected him to put up more of a fight. Who cares? I get my own room now. So long, bitches. <laughs> Damn, this lava lamp Uncle Chuck got from the flea market is goddamn bitchin. And to think Sonic would never let me put it up because it was green instead of blue. What do you say to that now, bro? Have you finally eaten your own words? <laughs> you guys are going to fucking love Canada with its perpetual winter. When we get back home, the first thing I'm going to do before throwing you down in the basement is make you both the whole play of flapjacks. Do you hear that, bitch? Do you love flapjacks? Maybe we can go ice skating afterwards. At some point when we're all out, out of the basement. Oh no, you'll be in the basement first for at least three weeks. We have to get you used to the lifestyle, after all. That's quite fine, as long as we are together. I don't mind where I am. Actually, you'll both be chained up on opposite ends of the room. With the noise-canceling wall put between you, that way all you can think about is harvesting maple syrup. I miss my brother. You know, I used to have a brother. You did? What happened to him? Sure did, haven't heard from him in a while. Because we had a bit of a falling out. How so? I never told anyone this, but I came from a pretty wealthy family. Well, wealthy by Mobian standards, at least one day I met my honey bunch. And suffice to say it was love at first sight, right? Got that right, slut. I couldn't help but spend every penny on her. Oh, honey, you know I never cared about your money. Shut up, bitch. I'm trying to tell a story. Last time I heard he went to the Emerald Peninsula to recoup the cost by capturing a mythical creature, like Bigfoot, or the guy on the Lucky Charms box. So you chose mom over your family's money, that's so sweet. Hang on, I'm sitting in a poor person's car. <coughs> Bart Levy, are you feeling okay my love? Tie your shoes, Blueberry Boy. We're going home. To your middle class family. Marshmallow, they're going to get away. Don't let them cross back over the American border. Already on it, woman. It's a good thing we hid this hunting rifle. Between your massive badonka donks. Hurry and tie this around your plump belly, beach. We're out of here. Ouch! Let's go! Bro, you came back. The Sonic Underground is together again. I'm so sorry you guys, the thought of leaving you should have never crossed my mind. Will you ever forgive me? Oh how could I stay mad at you Big Blue? What matters is that you did come back. He's right bitch. It's not about what you did, but what you didn't do. Now I'm going to spank your ass.